Sometimes you'll want your signers to be able to click on a link while they complete your DocuSign documents, just like that instead of adding extra documents to the envelopes themselves. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how. I just want to preface this by the fact that there's no easy way to force someone to click on the hyperlink. You need to prove that your recipient has viewed a document. The best practice really here is to use a feature called supplemental documents. To create the link, you first need to create a field and you're gonna add the URL within that field and add that field to your document. Following me so far, let's jump on the computer. Well, we're gonna need to start from your settings uh, tab. Once you're there, you wanna navigate to the document custom field and here you click on add new document field. For the name, you need to write exactly what I'm going to show you. Otherwise, this isn't gonna work. Hashtag href underscore DocuSign support. You'll be able to rename the field in the future, but you must first create it with that specific name initially. So once you've added the name of the field, um, you want to give it an initial value. And so the initial value is what is actually going to show on the document. So this doesn't have to be the URL. It can be if you want, but it doesn't have to be. I'm going to show you exactly where I want my hyperlink to be added on my document to help you understand why I'm going to write what I'm about to write in this field. This is a sales contract. I want to hide my hyperlink in the word here. So what I'm going to do is delete the word and the dot, and then I've saved this document already, and it's in the templates that we are uh, going to uh, edit together. So what I want to write here is actually the word here and my full stop. So this is what's going to show to your signers when they look at the document. I'm going to click on required and read only. So those two checkboxes have to be filled out again, otherwise this isn't going to work. If you want other users of your account to be able to use that same hyperlink in their templates and envelopes, you want to click on shared. And if you want all the signers of the envelope to be able to click on the hyperlink, you also want to click on recipients can collaborate. Now you're going to scroll down until you find the tooltip box. And this is where you include the actual URL right here. Once that's done, I can click on save. And then the next step is to go to my template and add my field to my template. If you're not really sure how templates work, you can download my free DocuSign Mastery cheat sheet. It will explain to you how to use templates, recipients and fields. And if we haven't met before, my name is Sofian Saudi. I'm a next DocuSign trainer and I'm also the founder of Solisign Consulting where we help financial services firms automate sales and customer onboarding workflows. If you're interested in having experts automate your workflow or just need some help with DocuSign you can find the link to book a strategy call with me using the link in the description of this video. Once you're inside the template you want to go to the list of uh, custom fields and so the way you do this is you click on next you navigate to the document and from here you go to custom field and this is where you're gonna find the, the field that we just added. Now I'm going to navigate to the location where I actually want my field to be and I'm gonna drop my hyperlink right here. If I wanna test this, I'm just gonna click on preview. The word here is in blue and it's underlined. I've got the little arrow actually. So there's always this warning that pops up and it's normal. But if I click on continue, then um, the link uh, will open. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Ciao.